most of my friends grew up with a mommy and a daddy and maybe a couple siblings close by. I grew up as an only child with my mom and her girlfriend. There were lots of other women in my life too. Women that worked with my mom and women that lived with us while they were trying to get back on their feet. Even without my dad around, I was a very happy little kid. My grandmother tells me I almost never cried. I was very happy. Until I grew up a little more and I realized I was fat. And I soon became aware that being fat was a very bad thing for a person to be. I was teased and there didn't seem to be very much I could do about it. But then in high school, I learned that being overweight hadn't always been viewed as a bad thing. In the olden days, it was a sign of status. Being overweight meant you were rich enough to eat, to be full at every meal. And I thought, how lucky that I have enough food to eat. And then I was exposed to older art, where fat women, big women, overweight and obese women, beautiful women were the subjects. Not just the subjects of the painting, but the subjects of desire. And I began to hate my fat body a little less. I thought about all the women I had been around growing up. They had all been taught to hate their bodies. They were always going on diets, complaining about the fit of their clothes, looking distastefully at themselves in the mirror. And I absorbed all those negative images into my fat little body. But all of those women had been wrong. Maybe they just weren't looking at the right images. They hadn't seen the beautiful women in the art with all their different shapes and sizes. From the female body comes life, comes birth and death, comes spirituality and religion, comes art and destruction. Maybe the vessel through which all life comes to be doesn't have to be so small after all.